Hi guys, it is Monday morning. I am going to meet my dad at my old apartment and we're moving the rest of my stuff out. He's taking my bedroom set to the Cape so that it's in my room at home. Oh my gosh, my steering wheel's hot. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta go do the last of moving out of my old apartment, which is so weird because it's gonna be completely empty soon. And yeah, I just thought I'd vlog. I have some pimple patches on my face if you end up seeing them. But I wanted to vlog today. Vlog this week, the next few days while I'm here. I'm going to Chicago again. It's been so busy, I feel like, these past few weeks have just been so busy with traveling and stuff so now i only have three days in boston this week full days thursday just have our workout and then our flights like thursday afternoon but oh my goodness i am just so much is going on so yeah i want to vlog these next few days hi guys quick intermission i just wanted to say thank you to boohoo for sponsoring today's video, I just got done showing you guys which outfits I am packing with me to Chicago, which I said that is basically the whole point of this video is my packing vlog. So if you guys wanna see the outfits that I am packing, go down below for you guys. They are so cute. I'm so excited for you guys to see all these outfits. And if you guys end up getting them too, which everything will be linked down below for you to get, I can't wait to see you guys wearing the outfits that I showed you and stuff that I also got, but yeah, one of the sneak little sneak peeks of the outfits. So, so, so comfy. I got home and I'm starting to pack. So I just want to show you guys some of the things that I'm packing. I'm starting with these heels. I brought these heels with me to Chicago last time. And I'm bringing them again because they are my new favorite heels. They're so comfy. They're the perfect height so that they don't hurt your feet too much. And also, just look at them. They're so cute. They're the style that's in right now. I love a good pair of heels that laces up your leg and makes your legs look super long. Black, normal, square toe heels. So cute. Got them from Boohoo, obviously. A lot of my outfits that I'm about to show you guys are from Boohoo because they gifted me a lot of these pieces and they are all so, so, so cute and so trendy. I'm so excited to show you guys the rest of the outfits. Another pair of heels since clearly I'm just so into heels right now. Again, the perfect heel height and then these ones lace up also and then they're just square toe and then these ones i feel like this style of heel is so in right now another square toe heel All right, i meant to say pointed toe but another square toe heel with this see-through little strap and then i'm obsessed with this heel in the way that it's like how do you say it's not like it's like big right here which makes heels a lot more comfortable so i think i am going to also put these together with an outfit because i have an idea in mind for one an, an outfit with i have an idea in mind with an outfit with these heels i feel like i base a lot of my outfits off of the shoe that i'm wearing and i've been super into heels lately so especially if i'm going out to dinner or something with friends i'm definitely going to be wearing heels with an outfit so these are my three pairs of heels that i'm bringing this little two-piece set is just so 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 cute darling as my mom would say but it's this little top you can tie it any way you want to tie it and then it's a skirt that has this long slip down the edge this reminds me of some sort of thing that you'd wear if you're in like greece or like I don't know in Europe or something but this is just the cutest little outfit ever I want to wear this if we like go to a cute little restaurant or something that's like outside in the Gold Coast area where it's like all the restaurants are outside and stuff and then either that or like on a boat at sunset would be so cute I'm obsessed with this little two-piece so cute. next dress is this little number i feel like these dresses are so in right now just a little button up dress with a collar on the top i am obsessed with the color of this with the way that it looks i don't have a bra on i'm so sorry i'm like trying to not show it that much but this is the cutest dress ever i'd wear it with a pair of heels i mean i'd wear it with a pair of cowgirl boots i don't have cowgirl boots so i'm just wearing a pair of heels with it right now which is still so cute but i'm thinking of wearing this dress when we're in LA. So we have Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night in Chicago, and then Sunday night, Monday night, 
through the rest of the week in LA. So this is gonna be one of my LA outfits. It's so cute, I'm obsessed. The color, the fit. I also picked up these white jeans that are baggy jeans that I'll be pairing with like a white tank top and a pair of sneakers. I'm obsessed with the fit of these. They feel like they're linen pants. They're really great quality and they have tapered front. So cute, they look so good with a pair of sneakers and a white tank top. This is another outfit that I love. So this top is just a square neck black long sleeve top and I paired it with these cargo looking black pants. They have these big cargo pockets, these like line, not line, straps that go down the pockets. They look really good on the back. I'm obsessed with the fit, how they look, how flowy they are, and this top is just so cute. I could see myself wearing this with a pair of sneakers or something and then tying it all together with like an orange clip and an orange bag. I feel like that's what I always do with outfits like this, but I'm obsessed with this outfit. How many times am I gonna say I'm obsessed? So comfy too, these pants are really comfy. This top is perfect. It's ribbed, love the way that it looks. This top I will also be bringing with me. I find that tops that wrap around your stomach are just really, really, really flattering, but I'm gonna be wearing it with a pair of jean shorts or even a pair of white jeans. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but it's so cute. I love this. I think I'm gonna do jean shorts and some boots, not cowgirl boots that I don't have, but like a pair of knee-high black boots or something. It's a collared white shirt. It's cropped, obviously ties all the way around. It's so cute. Love it. I saved one of my favorite pieces for last, you guys. I, I, I can't. This is just a cropped blazer. Obviously it's so cropped, which I love. You can wear like a little bra underneath and kind of see the bra from underneath, which I love. And then I'm gonna be wearing it with, hmm, I'm thinking of bringing, I have a white skirt that I wanna wear that's like kind of like the same material. White skirt would look so cute. The pair of heels or something, it kind of is like business. You mean business, but also like it's hot, so I'm obsessed with the whole cropped blazer look. So cute. You guys need this blazer. Also, everything that I just showed you guys in this haul will be linked down below. So you guys can check it out also. You guys need the stuff. Like, I actually am not kidding you. Every piece that I'm linking down below for you is so cute. And you gotta trust me on this one. I wanna say thank you to Boohoo for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys, these outfits are so, so, so cute. And if you guys want to shop them, like I've said a few times, you guys can click all the links down below. It will be a link to every single one of these outfits, all these pieces. And I hope you guys enjoy seeing these outfits and maybe it'll give you some idea for some outfits that you can wear to dinners coming up or if you're going on vacation or something such cute outfits cute outfit ideas for you guys and you'll love all these pieces i know you will because we always do good with these hauls you guys love seeing them so let's get into the rest of this video hi guys i haven't vlogged all day but i'm going to start dinner right now Sorry you can't see me. I'm gonna start dinner right now and you guys are gonna start dinner with me.
finished the pesto i used walnuts today and it actually turned out pretty decent <laughs> today moving took so long you guys saw my dinner which was good but other than that i was like drained by three i needed to take a nap so i took a nap but anyway i've been working doing stuff since then i need to call jet blue and i need to book a new flight because i'm going to chicago this weekend which i'm going to show you guys what i'm packing to chicago in tonight's vlog because i'm going to be packing all day tomorrow so i want to show you guys some of the outfits and get them together and stuff maybe i'll show you them tomorrow when it's light out but yeah i want to like get all my outfits together tomorrow because wednesday i have a ton of appointments and then i leave thursday morning after my workout so i want to show you guys what i'm packing and everything and the outfits whatever but we're leaving on Sunday and we were gonna just come back to Boston, but now we're going to LA So I need to call JetBlue and hopefully the mosaic line works for me because you guys I've been having an issue trying to call the mosaic line like it hasn't been working So let's try to call And cancel that one flight Thank hopefully you for calling JetBlue para Espanol Por favor, marque el número nueve Use the high call volume
Workout of the day done. Now we are going to Greystone. I've been looking for, forward to this moment since I woke up this morning. Honestly, same. All I was craving was a chai latte from Greystone. Ice chai. On your computer to caissons. And I got this IMU dress. Just got a PR package from Glossier. Let me open it first. It's their new contour sticks. I've been seeing these all over TikTok. I'm so excited to try them. Wow. Luminous bronzer. Wow. <clears throat> Whoa. I feel like my lighting right now is so weird. Or just the way that this is on my tripod. But can I tell you guys about my latest obsession? crazy crazy i need to like get ready um i've been obsessed with sourdough bread and butter so good morning eating my bread and butter on the ground it's morning time just so good anyway i need to get ready so let's get ready together today oh and let's just broke my knee hi guys so i'm gonna get ready with you right now i have a pretty busy day i never get ready during the day i normally just get ready at night but i have a content day today i need to take content take pictures and stuff like that so i thought it would be good to get ready now and show you guys me getting ready i guess we'll like go through it because i really want to try the new glossier these are the Solar Paint Luminous Bronzers. I really want to give them a try today, so I'm going to try them with you guys. And I've been loving, I mean, what am I going to say, like getting into makeup? No, because I haven't been getting into makeup. But I've been really loving watching like makeup TikToks. There's this one girl named Kenzie, and I love watching her TikToks. Where's my water? She does like really, really cute makeup looks, and she, her skin is just so nice, and she's just so pretty. So it's like so satisfying to watch. And it makes me want to be good at makeup. So I just thought I would get ready with you guys today. Because I have content, like I said. It's a big laundry day. I have to pack later. So I'm going to show you guys my outfits that I'm packing for Chicago. I'm like doing another packing vlog. And I haven't even packed. I haven't even posted my other packing vlog. <laughs> like, ah, it's so busy this summer. But I'm going to do my hair. Should I do my hair first? Yeah, I'm going to do my hair first. So I'm going to do that off camera because I'm just going to be using my blow dryer. I'm not like doing my hair. I'm just going to finish drying it and try to blow it out. I'm not really good at doing my hair. I really want to learn and get better. So yeah, but then I'm going to do my makeup and get myself organized today, which I'll bring you guys along with me. Foundation today. I really don't feel like wetting my beauty blender. But I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm not gonna wet my beauty blender though. Do I wanna wear foundation or should I just do concealer? I'll do foundation, whatever. I never wear makeup during the day. I like hate wearing makeup during the day. But you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So I tried to blow out my hair as best as I could, but my hair was already somewhat pretty dry just because I've been like I got out of the shower a while ago and then made breakfast and stuff, so. I'm not gonna do too much foundation. But I am going to put it on with a brush, which I never do. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna try heat, or is this one too much? Cause, okay, these two are like, whoa. These two are like warmer shades and then these ones I feel like are kind of like they have dip. Like they're, you know, see how they're like that? Like this one's kind of like gold, this one's kind of red. Then these ones are just like darker. I don't know which one I want to go in with though for my contour today. Ray might be really pretty. Bronzer cream. 
this is like a oh that one is really pretty i'm like judging it by the i thought it would be shinier this one is Okay, maybe I'll use Ray. Heat. Ooh, he is a pretty contour. Wait, I don't know which one I want to use. I might either use Heat. Heat. Ooh, Heat's really pretty. Flare. Flare's pretty too. Flare's a little light. Or Ray. Ray is the original one I wanted to use, but I really like Heat's color. Ooh, which one should I use, you guys? This one's Heat, this one's Flare, and this one's Ray. I either like Heat or Ray. I'm gonna try this one on my hand too, just to do it. Watch me really like this one. <laughs> I really like that one too. Okay, this one's a little bit gold and this one's a, I think I might try heat today. I'm gonna try heat, hopefully it comes out good and hopefully I end up really liking this because I just did all of my makeup, so. I don't even know how much I wanna use. What if this goes wrong? Hopefully this is good. I'm like really scared, honestly. I start with my forehead. It's blending out nicely. Okay, this would blend really well if I were using like a beauty blender or something else and not this little brush because it dries so quickly.
final verdict it dries so fast that it's like really hard to work with you got to be a fast moving person if you want to use it i feel like i do my makeup pretty slowly so it's um no okay that makeup kind of went off that like look that i just did was so quick but um i need better lighting so like i was saying in my room now you guys can actually see it the makeup actually came out pretty good like i kind of went off i have to shoot some looks and you guys will see it on my instagram got my toes done free feet pics <laughs> Somebody good enough for you, girl. You need something. Oh, now that song's speaking to me right now. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, I got ready with you this morning. It's literally already 4:30. It's been such a busy day. I ended up going and I got my toes done, and then got lunch with Maggie. But um, I have to go home and pack because I don't have enough time to pack tomorrow. Please don't break camera. And I went to Sephora, got a few new things. I have the funniest story to tell you guys after I show you what I got from Sephora. Well, I mean, it's not even important what I got from Sephora, but I am still going to show you guys what I got. So I got this new beauty blender. I needed a new one. My other one was crusty, dusty, busty, yucky. And then I got a little small perfume because I didn't have the big size of it, but it's the Killian I Don't Need a Prince by my side to be a princess. You guys need to go to Sephora and smell this perfume. It smells so good. My normal is the YSL Black Opium, but this one, oh my god, so good. It's a good one to carry around in your purse to like reapply, you know? Um, and then I got two birthday presents because funny story I'll tell you why I have two but I already opened up the birthday gifts um first birthday gift the NARS Laguna lip what is it called lip balm I have on my lips right now just like a little warmer shade lip balm and then a little mini Laguna bronzer and then also these three things from rock and oil it's the night body serum which i actually just put on my body and first of all it makes your skin so soft second of all it smells absolutely amazing i need the full size to put it on like every night it smells so good and then little moroccan oil for your hair which i love and then styling cream is that all i got yeah that's all i got so why i got two birthday gifts funniest story in the whole entire world i'm like looking at all of the charlotte tilbury, tilbury lip liners and the lady who works at the Sephora I was at, the one in Seaport, she's the funniest girl in the whole, whole entire world. Maggie and I like only go to the one in Seaport because of her, she's amazing. So we were there and, well, I was there. I was just like chilling, whatever, looking at lip gloss, looking at lip liners. And she comes up to me and she goes, girl, are you single? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh my god, I have someone for you. And I was like, what are you talking about? And so she brings this guy from around the corner, like this boy, not guy, not boy. He's not young, but he wasn't like old, old. I was like expecting some old guy to come around the corner, some like 45 year old being like, oh, she's cute. No, he probably looked like mid 20s, mid 20s? Yeah, like he looked like, I don't even know how old he was. I forget what his name was, is that bad? But, so anyway, she comes around with this guy and she's like, you guys would be perfect for each other. You guys would be such a good couple. Like, oh my gosh, this is great, this is perfect. And I'm like looking up at him because I'm literally on the ground, like looking at the lowest level. And I was like, hi, like, I'm Emma, nice to meet you. And he's like, I'm so-and-so. Um, and then he was like, I never really, I always come in here because I live like right down the street and I'm friends with all the girls that work here just because he's like, they're older women and obviously like older women, I feel like love younger guys and they're always like friends with them and stuff, especially if they work somewhere and he was buying cologne and then 
I was like, this is so funny. Like, it's just so random. The one day I wear makeup in public was when I met someone. I mean, I don't, I don't know what, like, I just randomly met him, not anything special like that, but he did ask for my number. Mm, I don't give my number out ever. Like, whenever someone asks me for my number, like a guy or something, I'll give them my Instagram and we'll go from there. DMs. But he asked for my number and I was like, honestly, if I, he turns out to be a weirdo, I can block his number, but... I gave him my number, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're waiting till he texts me. I'll like, is it bad that I want to like tell you guys when he texts me? Or like, what if he saw my video and he sees this and he sees me talking about him and he sees me talking about like him texting me and me being like, what if he's a weirdo? <laughs> so, um, let's, let's see. see how it goes I want him to text because I like forget what his name was <sighs> there's two thing two names where I think it was his name but I don't know which one it was which is so bad I'm really bad with names I'm good with birthdays and dates and stuff which okay excuse me for one second I he did give me his birthday gift like because he was in front of me and he was like oh like I want to give her my birthday gift like give her my birthday gift so he did give me his birthday gift that means his birthday was recently within the last month so within the last month unless it was like what four days ago but in the last month it means he was either a cancer or he if it was four days ago is a Leo so which is a big jump for me. Normally I talk to like Pisces or Taurus men or like Aquarius. Yeah, my normal guy is like an Aquarius, Pisces or Taurus, but Cancer, I've talked to one Cancer before. He's funny and that's it. So I don't know. I'm nervous, not nervous, but like um, it was just so funny, so random how like like things like that happen. I went into Sephora looking for Opalex oil, and then I ended up leaving with things that I didn't need and not the Opalex oil. So, and a guy. <laughs> wow! And he was like, I don't go on Hinge or like any dating app, so I gotta meet people somehow. And I was like, Wow! So. Anyway, that's my story time for today. I'm gonna show you guys, next thing I'll show you is me packing. So, let's get into packing. <laughs> when I tell you guys I am so out of breath right now, I have some packages though that I just brought up seven flights of stairs. We don't have an elevator in our new building, it's stairs, so. Wow! Wow, okay, anyway. That's the cardio for my day. First PR package, Mad Happy, sent over their new stuff. What did they send? It's like their new collection. I got an email that it dropped today, but they sent this over. I haven't been home, so just getting it now. Oh, cute. Mad Happy little sports bra. Cute, cute. Should have gone that in a smaller size. And then I got a pair of Mad Happy biker shorts. Cute. You guys, cute. Ooh, Mad Happy socks. How sweet. Love a good pair of socks. What is this? Oh, they just say mad happy on them. That's so cute. I think you can see. And a sweatshirt. This crew neck is so comfy. Let's see. Cute. Just a mad happy crew that has this cute stuff on the back. I love that. And then my management sent over happy birthday emma a little birthday gift of la cologne that's so cute my favorite coffee the little cans 
Oh my god, yay! I needed this. I needed new coffee. A little pack of the cans. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ooh. Cute. So here's another package. This is the heaviest PR package I've ever gotten. This company asked if they could send me an ice machine. And I was like, wait, that's so perfect because Maggie and I don't have, can you guys see me? Maggie and I don't have ice in our new, no, our new fridge. Well, it does have ice, but the ice maker broke, I guess. I guess. Like the last tenants broke it and then our landlord won't fix it. So this really nice company decided to reach out and ask if we wanted a ice maker. And it's one of the ones that makes cubed ice. Which I'm so excited about because I love cubed ice. It's by the brand Teotronics. Teotronics. I should keep that. That's a user manual. Ah, I have some time for my cold brew. We got an ice machine. Now I can make my cold brew in peace and have ice with it. Guys, look how big this thing is. And the ice is right there. Oh. <laughs> it looks like a little stapler. Not a stapler, what is that? A pencil sharpener. It's not turning on. Update on the ice machine. It's on and rolling. Look at these ice cubes. I cannot wait to drink an iced coffee with these ice cubes. Or like a matcha. Oh my goodness, they look like the ones at Sun Life. Oh my God. Yep. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, I haven't talked in like four hours. And I, it's 12. I don't know what happened. I like fell asleep. I sat down, then I fell asleep, and now it's 12. So I haven't brushed my teeth yet. And I have such a nighttime voice right now. <clears throat> but update the boy from Sephora texted me. I feel like I'm like talking to like my close friends at Warrior right now. Like, you know how like you have close friends on like Snapchat or something? like Instagram, I feel like I'm talking to my close friends, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to bed and I'm getting my nails done in the morning, like right away in the morning, and then I'm gonna start editing this video to upload it. So I think that's gonna be the last thing I'm gonna film in this vlog because all I'm doing right now is putting, the, putting away the rest of my laundry, brushing my teeth, and getting to bed. It's way too late right now. And I'm so tired. But yeah, that's a little update. I can't believe I like fell asleep and I woke up and my lights were on. Like, you know when that happens when you like, fall asleep and the lights are on. And then you wake up and you have no idea where you are. Not this is a herbal supplement. It's packed with antioxidants, anti-inflammatory ingredients. I totally am as tight. And uh, we have a picture of him. Yeah, we do. Have All a right, of him. should we post it? We should, but, yeah, we should post it. Yeah, we should post it. Yeah, that's literally like the epitome of my type. And I like said. Just got home from getting my nails done. I had a kind of a rough night last night, and like was I don't know. It was emotional. But I woke up and I'm having a bit of a better morning. Just got my nails done. I had orange nails before this, so I got cobalt blue, and then I got orange toes for all the traveling I'm gonna be doing in the next few. I won't be able to get my nails done for a while, so I needed to get them done now. Just got home, and I am drinking a full water bottle right now. This has chlorophyll in it and an electrolyte. I drink these electrolytes. I've been drinking them for like a year now, and they're the limit electrolytes. Um, they just are better for you than like a liquid IV or something because they don't have a, as much sugar and they're like have an acquired taste to them. It's more of like a salt electrolyte rather than a being like sugary or like Gatorade or something. So yeah, it's they're really good. I'm drinking one of those and some chlorophyll in here. I like filled the whole thing up with that. And it's just super hydrating to start off my mornings with. I love starting off my mornings with it, especially if I'm working out. I'll drink one at a workout. If I'm not working out, I'll make sure I have one throughout the day. But anyway, anyway, 
got my nails done now i'm chilling i'm listening to the podcast that maggie and i were on i talked about it in my chicago vlog and um i actually haven't even uploaded that vlog yet but it'll still be linked down below there and i'll put it down below here but it's with our friends rivenel they live in chicago and it, the podcast is called untouched i've been on it before and so maggie and i were in chicago a few weeks ago again so we both went on together and we had so much fun recording or filming or yeah yeah recording not filming we had so much fun recording and you guys would just love this podcast i feel like we talk about a lot i just showed you guys a clip and we were talking about my type we talk about boys we talk about advice we talk about breakups like literally we talk about everything i'll read you guys the little episode you know, i always have no like thing just like say this week, the girls are joined by Emma and Maggie McDonald, sisters who have gained following across the social media platforms, um, showcasing their lives. As the first podcast to ever have both Maggie and Emma on, Riv and Elle have to ask the sisters some questions. Do they have the same type? Has their profession brought them closer together? Do they have a hard time building their personal brands and so much more? The girls also answer listen also answer listener questions about relationships fallouts with friends and heartbreak so you guys need to listen i am gonna continue listening because like you know when you i don't know i feel like at least for me when i'm recording something or vlogging i like completely just black out talking like i don't remember not like i don't remember but i just kind of like get in the zone and i am talking and i'm not thinking about what i'm saying and i just go 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 so listening back it's like oh like listen first of all listening to me talk i always listen to myself talk in my videos when i'm editing and it's fine but on this podcast for some reason this episode specifically i feel like i sound like a man and i like can't listen anymore but it just makes me laugh hearing all of us talk and like we get so excited talking to each other we're like screaming <laughs> and then but, he like, got super nervous so and funny away. and then he came back up to us you guys he's like standing there and he like puts his foot up like leaning into to us say to say something opens his mouth and just walks away <laughs> they were talking well Riv was talking about this guy that we saw at the cubs game and i was like oh my god he's so cute like he literally was my type as a whole like guy he had these salmon shorts on he was wearing a cubs jersey that was like buttoned down but it was open and he didn't have a shirt on underneath and he had like light not really light brown but kind of like light brown messy curly like long hair and oh my god he was just so cute we call him Sa salmon shorts and riv got him to talk to me it was so funny so we tell all those types of stories but um i don't know why i'm so cold right now normally my apartment's like hot but for some reason today i'm like shivering and i don't know why i put a hair mask in my hair this morning the opalex number i want to say three hair mask and i'm kind of just like letting it sit in my hair all day to like shower i am getting a spray tan later i look like an egg right now i'm getting spray tan later but I just wanted to end off this vlog because I am going to be starting another vlog probably the week for the weekend while we are in Chicago. Um, so I'll do that tomorrow or something and then I'll have a few more vlogs after that from LA and stuff. But yeah, I wanted to end off this video. I'm going to start editing. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.